Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and this is C++ from Scratch. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about the first of our standard template library algorithms, and that's going to be standard sort or std sort. So our STL algorithms go hand in hand with our standard library containers. So just like we have these containers that give us a way to represent our data in some form that's convenient for us, so things like std array, um, we also have our algorithms that allow us to perform operations uh, on these containers, right? Some very common operations that we want to use when solving uh, problems. So as you, as you can see from the right-hand side of the screen here, I've got the CPP reference page for the algorithms library up, and we have quite a few uh, of these algorithms to choose from, right? So, you know, one of the main reasons for using these algorithms, um, other than the fact that they work very nicely with our containers, is just the fact that we don't want to be reinventing the wheel when programming. Um, you know, we, we could, of course, write our own sorting implementation, but oftentimes it will be, you know, no better than the one implemented by your compiler vendor. Though there are, of course, always exceptions to the rule. Okay, so... You know, moving on from that, uh, what we're going to be looking at today is, you know, the basics of how we can use this specific algorithm, and that's going to be standard sort or std sort. Um, you know, we just want to sort uh, one of our containers, and specifically, we'll use the one we've been using uh, for the past few examples, and that's going to be std array. So we want to say sort the elements inside of our array. So let's go ahead and get started, um, and we'll, we'll open up a new example here, and, you know, we'll call this something like sort.cpp. Now, inside of here, you can see that um, uh, std sort is defined inside of our header algorithm. So we can go ahead and include that as we get um, all the headers that we're going to need in this file. So we'll we'll start with something like uh, algorithm uh, that we need for std sort. I'll also go ahead and include array, right? That's the container that we want to sort. Um, and then I'll go ahead and include IO stream so we can say print out the contents of our array before and after sorting. So we'll go ahead and save that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the main function, of course, um, the core of our C++ programs, and we'll create an array that we want to sort. So we'll create a std array, uh, and let's say of uh, five integers. We'll call it something like my array, and we'll set it equal to you know just some random numbers, maybe uh, not in you know sorted order, right? So something like this, and we even have a duplicate in there. So 53, 21, two. 85 and 2. Now let's quickly implement a method to print out our array so we can print it before and after. In here we'll uh, use the abbreviated template syntax um, that, that we looked at when we looked at function templates. So we'll create a void function um, called print that'll take something, an array. Uh, we'll just use this auto right for this uh, abbreviated template syntax. Then inside of here we'll go ahead and uh, uh, we'll create a simple range-based for loop for our array. So we'll say for you know, auto value in this array, you know, I want to std C out that value followed by a space, right? And then print a new line character at the very end, right? So we get a new line. Then down here, we can go ahead and print out our original array just by just calling print my array, right? Simple as that. Okay, so now we have our array set up and, you know, we're printing it up to the screen before we sort it. So let's go ahead and see how we can use something like std sort, right? So if we go ahead and look on the right-hand side of the screen here, um, uh, on this reference page for standard sort, you can see there's a number of different, um, you know, versions of it that we can use that correspond to different versions of C++. Uh, but the core behind all of these is that uh, they're going to sort elements from the range first to last. So we're just going to provide a range of elements um, to our algorithm that we want to sort from our container. And, you know, one of our key constraints here is that it has to uh, have this random uh, iterator. So if we look at the type requirements down here, uh, so in the last video we talked a bit about iterators and how different algorithms have different requirements in terms of the kinds of iterators they use. We can see the type requirements for our um, um, our, our standard sort, it says, you know, random it, you know, as you can see, it's the template uh, class name up here. It says that random it must meet the requirements of value swappable and legacy random access iterator. And if we go ahead and go to sit array here, we can see under iterator and these member types, you can see that it has this uh, legacy random access iterator thing. So we should be good to go there. We can use our iterators um, for our array 
uh, to specify that range of values that we want to sort. So let's go ahead and, and, and use that, right? So it says here that we can pass, you know, two iterators, you know, the first and last, and we're going to sort the elements within that range. So let's call std sort. And uh, let's go ahead and start. We want to start sorting from, say, the beginning of our array. So we'll call myArray.begin to get the uh, iterator to the beginning of our array. And then the uh, end of our array, right, that'll be the, the, the last element, say, in that range we want to sort. We'll go ahead and do myArray.end, right? And that's all, that's all we really need to do, right? So that's, that's all we really need to sort our array here. We just call std sort with the range of values we want to sort, right? So basically from the begin, sort from the beginning to the end of my array. And of course, you could put offsets in here if you want to sort a subset of this array. Okay, and right after our sort, let's just do another print so we can see uh, my array again to make sure that we sorted it correctly. Okay, so let's go ahead and minimize this and we'll compile uh, sort.cpp and we'll call the output, you know, something just like sort. And you can see we get this warning here for, uh, you know, using this abbreviated template syntax. Uh, so using auto, you know, to specify a template. So we'll go ahead and use std equals C++20 to also just get rid of that warning. Okay, so there we have our executable here. Um, and we, we can go ahead and run and you can see that std sort sorted our array. So we went from 53, 21, 2, 85, 2. And then our sorted version of our array. So after that call to std sort, we got 2, 2, 21, 53, and 85, right? So all of the elements in ascending order. Now, another thing I wanted to bring up is uh, kind of a more modern way we can use some of these algorithms. And it's with one of these things called ranges. So you can see we have uh, this idea of constrained algorithms here that um, is available since C20. And the idea here is we want to make um, our code even easier to write. So many times when we're using these algorithms, uh, so something like sort, um, it's a little bit annoying if we have to specify, say, a range like beginning and end, right? I just want to sort my array. So with this uh, constrained algorithms, right, we can just pass um, our array as a range of values, very similar to how we do it in a range-based for loop. So let's go ahead and see how we can use that C20 uh, constrained algorithms version of sort. So in this case, we get a bit of syntactic sugar, right? We'll have the exact same operation, but it'll be easier to write. So here I can just pass my array to instead of std sort, it's going to be std ranges sort. So it's part of this ranges library. And I can go ahead and save that. And you can see I've got some very expressive code here now. I create an array, I'm printing my array, I'm sorting my array, and then I'm printing my array again, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and recompile this. And again, um, we're compiling this with C++20. So if you're going to try out this example, you'll need a compiler that supports uh, specifically these constrained algorithms in C++20. So we'll compile this and we'll run it. And you can see we get the same result as last time, right? Our sorted array. So 53, 21, 2, 85, and 2, and then sorted 2 up to 85 now, right? Uh, so everything in sorted order. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and do it for today. It's kind of the basics of using, um, you know, this the first of these uh, standard template library algorithms that we're going to be looking at. Um, of course, I'll put links down below to uh, this main page for the algorithms library, uh, the specific one for std sort, and of course for std array, the container that we were using here. Uh, of course, you can find this and any of the other examples at github.com slash coffee before arch. But that's going to go ahead and do it for today. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.